there's a lot of uh, mystery around, you know, uh, financing of, of California real estate and stuff. We'll get a lot of questions about that. Talk us through that deal and kind of uh, the financing you chose to go with and, and the deal itself. So didn't have a lot of money. And so I'd saved up enough to do like 10% down on a condo. So I started looking at different condos. I was with my girlfriend, now wife at the time, and she wasn't living with me, but I wanted to get her input. And we started seeing these like done condos and I used done with quotations because I was like, they weren't done very well. Yeah. And um, I'm not gonna lie, because I worked with a developer, I'd see what they were doing. I'm like, I want that. Yeah. <laughs> not that I could afford it, but I want it. Mm -hmm. So I said, fine, I'm gonna look for the cheapest a two bath condo that I could find like near my office. My office is, uh, was located in Sherman Oaks, which for those that aren't familiar with LA, it's in the Northern part, San Fernando Valley portion. And I found the condo. It was listed for 245. And what I liked about it is it was in a neighborhood called Tarzana, but it was just North of the freeway, which for some people, they don't realize that is Tarzana. They think it's a different neighborhood, which is at a lower price point. So I get the lower price with a better address. Uh, saw it. She was a heavy smoker. She had lived there for over 30 years. And it just sat. I was sitting on the market. And so I said, I can take care of this smoke. I can take care of this kitchen. I can take care of this stuff. So I ended up locking it in for two twenty-five, dollars 10% down. I put about 18000 into it. Uh, I ended up refinancing. Oh, I didn't have a lot of money. So to help with that, I actually increased my interest rate on my loan. And in exchange, the lender gave me money. And I did that because I knew I was going to refinance after I fixed it up. And so talk about that with the lender. How, how were they able to give you money with the higher interest rate? So what's most common is people pay points. So what most people do is they'll pay to lower their interest rate. I did the opposite. So I said, I talked to the, my loan officer. I said, I want you to jack up my interest rate as high as possible which at the time, I think I locked in, it was like four and a quarter percent, which was super high back then. Right. <laughs> um, but in exchange, they gave me a few thousand dollars to help cover some of my closing costs. That's what we ended up doing. Uh, fixed it up. Then a few months later, I refinanced, which got rid of the private mortgage insurance because I had added so much value. Then literally a few months after that, Brexit happened. <laughs> And interest rates dropped, so I refinanced again. So I refinanced twice in six months. And I had gotten a roommate from the get-go, and I was paying like 700 bucks a month to live in LA. No, for sure. And I think a lot of things, you know, pretty much everyone we have on this show, they find a way uh, that everyone else runs from. Like for you, you saw the ability, you know, this lady had lived there for 30 years. She had smoked in it. And almost all the people that wanted to make this just their primary residence didn't want to go through the hassle of dealing with that smoke, everything that's required, the, the painting, the, you know, probably you had to go through all the flooring as well mm. and, and just kind of go through the entire house. That's a big undertaking. But for someone like yourself who is looking to dramatically reduce your cost of living uh, and also add a lot of equity, which you were able to do and which caused you your ability to refinance and all of that. We see that all the time where you take on properties that everyone else runs from. And you know what I like about condos, because you bring up a good point, condos are not that difficult to remodel. Right? You're not dealing with a sewer line. You're not dealing with a roof. You're not dealing with major electrical. It's like it's mostly the fun stuff, the picking yeah. the floors, the kitchens. Yeah. It's it's much easier. It's a lower barrier to entry. A lot of my house hacking clients start off with condos. Absolutely. Got a little bit of a niche now with doctors because doctor, they have 0% down loans. Right. Um, and I'm just closing on one this coming week with a doctor who's buying a condo. He is finishing the basement to live downstairs and renting the rest of the rooms out to his other doctor friends who are in residency. You know, and so nice. condos are a great, uh, there are a lot of people that use condos, rent by the bedroom. You know, like you said, you don't got to deal with a lot of the big ticket items and you can just rehab the condo or whatever that is. And renting by the bedroom in a nice condo, you can either live for free or a lot of times make money. Yeah, I mean, in LA, to set the um, expectation is most people aren't gonna be living for free in LA, right? you know? But the goal is to lower your expenses. You know, that that's the ultimate goal. And then later on, if you wanna keep it as a rental, you can. And you just have to work out the numbers ahead of time, which is what I ended up doing. I can make, you know, I'm actually gonna break even on my cost, but, you know, as kind of what we talked about, it's like with LA, you should never bank on appreciation, but typically it's there. At the time, I could have rented it out for 1600 
now I'm renting it out for uh, 2000 right? I mean, it's just part of the game. Right. And even if in the micro, it isn't there, generally speaking, in LA, if you look over the horizon, you're oh, 10, 20 sure. years, I mean, you're certainly going to get it. Whether it comes in, you know, in, in a one or two year span, you know, again, you shouldn't bank on it. But if you look at the long stretch, you're going to probably uh, get appreciation in both rents in the cost of the home. Yeah, for sure. I mean, in LA, just over the last decade, rents have gone up 65%. The LA Times reported that uh, back in January. It's like, mm -hmm. that's massive. For sure. And it's likely to, be, to do something similar in the next 10 years. I think so. Yeah. I mean, hopefully it doesn't go that fast just for the sake of the tenants. <laughs> But, you know, what I'm seeing is because in L.A. you have rent control, right? Mm -hmm. There's there's statewide rent control now for California, but Los Angeles has their own. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of a pain to deal with. Because of that, some mom and pop landlords are leaving the market, which leaves an opportunity for people like me and you to be like, well, I'm your only option. Right. For sure. <laughs> for, the, for a lot of these tenants. So, yeah, sure. I do think that rents are going to go up. For sure. For because sure. of that.